It has always been important to me to tell the story of rural people, and that's how the milk house started. The Milk House has appeared in print since 2011, and since then has been published in a handful of countries and has been translated into French. I'm always surprised by the number of readers that reach out to me and by their sincerity. There's no greater feeling than knowing that what I'd written had gotten something right or explained what the reader might be going through, good or bad. Those in rural communities, whether involved in agriculture or not, sometimes feel like their voice isn't heard. I think it's important for people to get to see their lived experiences reflected back to them in the things they read or watch, and that doesn't happen often. Three, two, one, close your mouth. (laughs) I grew up on a farm in western New York State, and at an early age, had an interest in trying to tell the story of people like my family, farmers, country people, those trying to negotiate a rural lifestyle. I later found myself moving between different countries and writing about their farmers. I won a Fulbright grant in writing to write about Icelandic dairy farmers, and I have a novel coming out with Epoch Press about Irish farming. And I've also written feature articles for, for various agricultural journals. Three, two, eight, sorry, it's going. The Milk House has appeared in all sorts of journals and magazines. Sometimes editors are wary of the name The Milk House because it makes it sound like the column is just about dairy farming or agriculture, which isn't true. For that reason, it also appears under the name Moonwalking on Tailgates sometimes. Uh, In South Africa, the editor decided to call it Both Sides Buttered. Well, I sometimes find that editors think that their columnists have to be from the same area as their magazine, but the Milk House is written to be geographically universal. Besides, If there's one thing I've learned since 2011, it's that readers simply want good writing. What do I do with my hands? It's always been a point. (laughs) If I could say one thing to editors, it's this. Just try out the milk house, run it for a few test columns, and decide for yourself. It has done extremely well everywhere it has appeared. And it can probably do well with your audience, too. Okay, am I done? I'm passing the camera.